It's coming up to party season, so it's time to get a crowd pleaser on the table that everyone will love. Let's make this beautiful creamy corn dip served in a cob loaf on the One Pot Chef. First things first, we've got a large round cob loaf. Now you can use pretty much any crusty bread you like, it doesn't have to be round, but I find round is the best option when doing this because you get that bowl shape. And all I've done is I've cut a lid off the top like that. And what we're going to do is just using your fingers, we're just going to pull out all of the bread from the center of the loaf. So we end up with an empty bread bowl. So what I want you to do is all that bits that we just pulled out of the inside of the bread, that and the bread lid as well, we're just going to break that up into bite sized pieces. And I've just placed the bread bowl and the torn up pieces of bread onto a baking tray. And this is ready to go into the oven, preheated oven, 200 degrees Celsius, 400 degrees Fahrenheit for about 10 minutes or until everything's lightly toasted. Time to make our creamy corn dip into a mixing bowl. I've got 500 grams of sour cream. To that I'm going to add a 40 gram packet of French onion soup mix, just the powdered stuff. You'll find this in the soup aisle of most supermarkets. Three spring onions, just chopped up. And one small jar, about 250 grams of corn relish. And just using a spoon, we're just going to mix that all together until combined. Make sure you have a little taste of this at this point and give it a little bit of salt and pepper if required. Otherwise, this can go into the fridge to chill. I transferred the toasted bread pieces into a bowl. We can set that aside. We'll be using them for dipping later. But all that's left is to allow this to cool slightly and then we can start putting our dip in. Once cooled, spoon the dip mixture into the bread bowl. And here we have our completed creamy corn dip served in a cob loaf with our lovely pieces of bread ready for dipping. This is so simple for parties and what's great about it is it's virtually no cleaning up afterwards because even the bread bowl itself can be eaten. Once all the dip is gone, people will start ripping parts of the bowl apart and eating that too. So it's practically self-cleaning. That is just gorgeous. So let's dive in and have a taste. Mmm. Oh, that's gorgeous. <laughs> that is absolutely sensational. It's creamy, it's rich, it's got that lovely onion flavour from the soup. It's got the corn mixture in there, so it's nice and sweet, but it's also got that slight tangy flavour to it. Really, this is the perfect thing for a party because it's self-cleaning, it, the bowl gets eaten by itself, and of course it's so simple to throw together. You can make the dip up to 24 hours in advance, so all you've got to do is quickly shove the bread into the oven and then stick the dip in it. It's very, very party-friendly, budget-friendly, give it a go. Well, I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Check out my other videos at onepotchefshow.com. And until next time, see you later. A good tip for this one is to have a few extra dipping things available as required. Things like vegetable sticks, crackers, or whatever you happen to have on hand, because trust me, people will go through the bread really quickly and then they'll want more things to dip in it, and you'll want to have some on standby. <laughs>